Hey guys, and welcome back to Devil Dagger. As you can see, we finally finished the floors underneath our walls. Uh, literally just finished. Uh, we actually had just enough stone. I did have to go down to the mine to actually dig out this space, so I set up some torches just to keep any nasty creatures from sneaking up the stairs and having our gnomes panic. But... Everything seems to be going okay. I uh, still haven't figured out the problem with these goblins over here. They're still just kind of hanging around, not doing very much, not trying to attack. I'm not sure if they don't think it's worth attacking, but we have 12,000, so that's a sizable chunk of kingdom worth. Um, right at 28 to 32,000, we start getting uh, ogres. And then I think it's 60, somewhere between 64 and 75,000, you start getting two headed ogres. So, those are some uh, key points that we need to pay attention to and try and keep our kingdom worth below that, below, definitely below 32,000 before we get some bronze gear, which you're not going to be able to get until we get some uh, 10 bars. So, we will go ahead and we're going to build the walls for our gnomes and their bedrooms. We will focus on these back walls just because they require the most. And frankly they're corner pieces so our gnomes might have a tendency of getting stuck. Alright and we will go ahead and do another section here. making sure to leave some support for this mine because we don't want any cave-ins happening to our gnomes. Which, if you haven't learned by now, well, you're never going to understand the, the point behind why I dig the way that I do. Go ahead and leave that. Have our gnomes go ahead and dig out a little bit. And we're still hitting dirt. Which I guess we're just going to have to dig further down. Which is quite annoying, to be quite honest. And yeah, it's about the same... Same mark. Ugh. Well, it happens. I'll just have to live with it for right now. Have to dig even further down to try and get some decent stone. Luckily, the way we have our profession set up is our mason only goes and digs if there are no more, if there's no more stone to actually be turned into uh, stone blocks. So our miner can go down there and dig while our mason makes more stone blocks. That way, we actually have somebody constantly making them, and then when our miner then when the miner actually finishes, or the mason and the miner finishes down here, they'll both go up there and start making stone blocks. It's one of the reasons why I particularly like having uh, one mason and one miner at the beginning, rather than, you know, two miners or two masons. And it looks like our front gate is completely unguarded right now. But at about 10 o'clock, we will have Chase and... Phil Bingham to go guard keep watch for us we really do need to do something about moving these workshops inside I mean it from a gameplay aspect there's no reason whatsoever I mean I for the rest of the game we could just constantly keep doing this but I'd like our gnomes to have a spot that they could call their own their own little workstation Fort does need to uh, be beautified quite a bit. The only place that has any real walls is the great hall and the bedrooms. And it looks like we're making a little bit of progress there, so that's nice. I think what we will actually do is add some more walls to be built. Fortunately, we have no more stone blocks, so that's a bit of a letdown. Our miner and mason must both be sleeping. Go ahead and get those all set up. And we 
actually have our, I believe that's our miner. Yep, that is our miner. So our miner is busy getting to work on that, and it looks like we hit a little bit of coal right here, yep. So we won't have to burn as many trees. We're still not getting as much stone out of our four support mine that I would like to see, but that's perfectly okay for right now. Um, because hmm. the more we go that way, we're probably going to hit less and less stone, so might actually dig in this direction to try and flush out some more stone. I'm not sure how far back this continues, so we'll just dig a tunnel here. This should actually include this section here, so just for right now, we will do that. See how far back we can actually get some of this. Looks like it's a good bit of stone. Well, oh, there's the dirt, right on the outskirts. Well, at least we got a little bit more dirt out of it, which isn't too bad. And we have some more work going on up here. Go ahead and setting up the rest of the bedrooms. And what I'll probably do is set up this next line here. Just because that's going to be the majority of the work right there. It's just the uh, outer edges. It's kind of like outlining. And another autosave it looks like. This is something that really bugs me about this game is it looks like your gnomes are about to build a wall with somebody inside of it. I mean, I've heard of it being done before. The Great Wall of China was done using that method. Somebody would die while building, they would just toss the body inside the walls and keep going. It's kind of a grim thing to think about, really, uh, using human bone as building material, but there are worse crimes, I suppose, against humanity. It looks like both the miner and the mason are busy at work, so let's see. Yeah, it's it wasn't that much stone, unfortunately. What we might end up doing is creating a very deep mine that we take the floor off of this so that nothing can actually spawn to attack us. One, it gives us more stone from the floor itself, and two, it kind of looks cool, especially when you hit, uh, I believe the hotkey is E, yeah, it's E, and it kind of evaporates all the darkened areas, so we can uh, see farther down, and it kind of creates a really cool looking uh, Especially when you start having supports like this, it creates a very unique look and it looks very menacing in my opinion, but it's quite cool, honestly. And we'll have our graves be outlined by the fact that there's a little space right there. But for right now, we'll go ahead and turn that off. There's no point in really keeping it active and it looks like they finished that so go ahead and set up the next little batch here while they get that all finished hopefully they don't actually trap one another that would be a shame it would be quite funny but it would be a shame because unfortunately the gnome AI is not the most intelligent <laughs> of all the uh, computer simulations that I've seen in col Colony Survival. Uh, they tend to do some pretty stupid stuff sometimes. But they're, it's, it is much better than what it used to be. Uh, I will say that much. Like They used to trap themselves all the time. And the remove floor command was almost entirely useless. Uh, it was much better just to dig a ramp down rather than trying to uh, remove the floor because the gnomes would just trap themselves constantly. It was quite aggravating. You actually had to micro 
manage it a lot of the time. Most of the time you can just set a big project to be built and the gnomes will build it without very, very little micromanaging needed. I just build it like this just because I like to keep a eye on my stocks and make sure I have enough material because right now we're not anywhere near the capability of doing it ourselves. All right, looks like that section's going up, so let's go ahead and add this next section here. We'll do all these. Just the pathways, basically, in between each bedroom. Then we can set up the walls for each individual bedroom. That way, in a sense, each gnome will be building his or her own bedroom might give them a sense of pride. I know if I built my own bedroom inside of a kingdom, I would be very proud of it. Make me sleep better at night knowing that if there was some kind of structural issue or <laughs> engineering miscalculation, it was my own fault and not the fault of some drunk engineer because he just happened to have a bad day and spent the night before drinking at his local tavern. <laughs> All right, so all those are being set up, creating a little bit more structural integrity of this room in and of itself. I guess technically I broke my own rule by digging out that giant section, but unfortunately the way that this game behaves, that's the way you have to do it sometimes. But right now it looks structurally sound in my opinion, I mean you have few spaces it might be a little bit weaker, but looks pretty good overall. How are all of you guys doing in terms of your training? Mer, let's see your skills. 46 and 28. So you're all relatively the same. And uh, the gnomes watching will actually benefit from watching these two train. Um, I'm not sure if I covered that or not, but it does help to have your gnomes actually watching and not necessarily having to participate. They get more experience from actually fighting the goblins or the ogres or the bears. Oh, a new merchant. Excellent. Let's see what you're going to offer. What's our kingdom worth at? 13,400. All right, let's see here. What do you have for sale? A little bit more copper ore. I'm interested in that. Um, apart from that, there's not much I need right now. I'm not even gonna pretend that I can afford an emu right now. I One, I wouldn't be able to afford to feed it. And two, I just don't have the stocks in order to trade for it. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to trade very much. Um, for anything. Really? I mean, I could trade away our beds, but that would be quite pointless considering I spent all that time trying to uh, get the materials necessary to create them. So, no go on that. Um, what is the holdup? We have enough stone. Yeah, we have 65. So, are both of our gnomes sleeping? Yep, the miner and the mason are both sleeping. I guess making stone blocks all day is quite rough. Let's see here. Unfortunately, we're not stocking any drink right now because we haven't created a brewery, but it wouldn't help us very much because we don't actually have a brewer. All we have is a chef, so. And some people, they actually combine the chef and the brewer into one and just have them use one massive workstation, which is all fine and good, but I would like for my gnomes to be specialized that way to create better quality because the better quality uh, drink or food that they consume the longer that they actually have to go without drink or food that's why eating a sandwich in Nomoria is much preferable to uh, just eating an apple or eating a sausage even although in my opinion I would much rather have sausage than a sandwich almost any day of the week Unless the sandwich had sausage on it, of course. Alright, looks like all the walls on that section have been set up. 
But I think I'm going to put a cut in here, guys, and I will bring you back when all of this has been completed and we'll set up the final section. All right, so it looks like our final piece has been set up. Now we can set up the walls for each individual bedroom. Go ahead and set those up in this episode, but I do think that after I finish setting these up, we're gonna go ahead and call it an episode just so that you guys don't have to sit here and wait and wait and wait for the gnomes to finally finish because not sure if we have enough stone to complete this job, but uh, we'll go ahead and finish that in between episodes, and in the next episode we'll be able to actually start moving some gnomes in. Uh, we will start laying the flooring and start moving the bedrooms themselves into, or start moving the beds into the bedrooms of the gnomes. Um, not really worried about trying to figure out which gnome gets what bedroom or anything like that. Unfortunately, Nomoria doesn't have uh, preferred items where a gnome would prefer a pine wood bed over a birch wood bed like it would be in Dwarf Fortress. But this is the fully formed bedroom, <laughs> at least uh, the outline of it, I guess you could say. But I will go ahead and finish this in between episodes. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have any questions, any advice, any need to join the fort, if you want a new nomad to be named after you, I'd be more than happy to add you guys to the fort. Uh, drop a comment down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope to see you in the next. Y'all have a great one.